Ambrose Amodio, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited, joins me now live in the studio, not virtually, to do some analysis <laughs> of the top stories and is with me now. Ambrose, good morning. It's a pleasure having you join me on the program. Thanks for having me. Give us an overview of what played out at the market last week, Monday up to, to Friday. Yeah, it was a mixed uh, market for last week, but the good thing that uh, profit taking was part of what you know, put the market down, especially in uh, MTN. Mm. But we saw some buying interest in the banking uh, counters toward the end of the week, despite that we were expecting to see MPC meeting mm. today. Mm. You that, we're still uh, going to talk more about that, yeah, but don't go ahead. It, yeah, it, it just tells you that uh, Nigerian investors are looking at what will be the outcome of this MT MPC meeting and also the results of the banks have been delayed. And we know that I said it earlier in this pro uh, program that in our history, also in the research, if you look at it, the most you know, sector that in Nigeria market has paid dividend consistently and even grew their dividend is the banking sector. Mm. That means any reverse mm. or you know, contrary to that mm. will also affect the capitalization of this sector. Mm. For me, the delay in the, in the banks to the results, whether CBS is kind of uh, doing their scrutiny, also you know, examine the numbers. But at the end of the day, yes, we know that there is already you know, kind of uh, a rule or kind of a what's it called, Nazi regulation that no banks will pay from their FS gate, which I know that yes, looking at the other activities on the banking sector, especially their interest income and their trading income, most of them are still robust to pay good dividend. But if they go the other way, could affect you know, their capital. Let's mm. CBN want to inject funds into the banks. But if you are looking for the public investors to get into the bank, you need to reward them. And also, don't forget that also this banking regulation also has a way of changing the structure of the holding structure mm. of the banking mm. itself. Mm. That's why when I saw this delay, I just laugh. Because why there is a delay? Because those are the major owners of the banks mm. and thinking how because if you're opening up for another to come, your all the audience in that is likely to die. These are the things that are kind of conflicting between the the way the CBN is going to present the information uh, till now, since then uh, September. I know we've seen that reflection on the bank sector. To more than almost six months, that nothing has been done. It was just putting both the the owners of those banks mm. and uh, the public on a kind of a mixed you know situation. I believe that let's have the capitalization so that the banks will be stronger. And stronger to drive Nigeria economy because I tell you, if not that banks have been resilient before now, yeah. we have seen a lot of issues. Yes, but since that we wanted to drive the economy to one trillion, uh, yeah, uh, one trillion uh, naira, uh, no, trillion dollars, so trillion dollars. Yeah. Sorry, so that we want them, we want the government also to help them. But one thing is that if the regulator, you no, know, one would rather deny this bank for paying dividends for their shareholder, coming to raise the fund because mm. it's not the CPM going to inject new fund mm. to this bank, it's the public. And they are not worrying them how confident they are going to adjust. Okay. For me, I believe that it's a balance in that the regulator should also look at the operators and balance and so that the investors will be happy to invest you know, in the banking sector. Let's quickly take a quick look at um, the MPC meeting. It's holding today and tomorrow. By um, by tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, we should be getting um, a direction of where the um, monetary policy direction, a trajectory of where the monetary policy direction will be heading to. Now, how do you think um, the MPC um, outlook is going to affect trading activities this week? And then again, what is your projected for, um, outlook for the meeting? Are you seeing a retention or you're seeing an, 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 a, a further increase in NPR? And if for any reason you're going to give me a figure, what are you projecting, Ambrose? For me, yeah. I would say that if going by the trend we're seeing globally, mm. and even uh, Ghana here that's also having their own uh, you know, MPC meeting today and yeah. tomorrow, yes. already in Ghana they have you know, kind of projection that they're going to leave their rate or change. Mm. And we have seen the part of their rate like in reflecting on their work, they drop in Ghana inflation. Yes. Then we have done for 400 basic points just a month ago. Mm. We have not seen the impact. Then for me, we want to do the impact before because for us to do that 400 basis point, we are like we are, we are taking vision of the past months we have not done the, 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 the meeting. meeting. Yes. Yeah. If you have done that, you have mm. given time to see mm. what will be the impact. Mm. But if we are rushing, rushing again to uh, hike another one, mm. it told me that as I've seen earlier that you don't have the interest of the economy hmm. because if you are targeting to don't use to solve one problem and create a more problem, problem yes. you, are, you are not balanced. Hmm. For me, I think this is time for them to look at where are we going from here. Looking at yes, we have seen a kind of a plus for clearing the backlog of our you no know, FSA uh, you no know, issue. Yeah. Good no, it's a good one for them. We still for the last week we'll stop at almost twelve percent mm -hmm. gain in our naira, which mm. is good. Mm. That is a plus for them. Mm. Then if you really want that thing to transform to production. So that the the market sector that have been negative mm. will start you know, be, getting be, some momentum. Start beating out. Yeah, you need to also turn down your cost of fund mm. because if the cost of fund is high, if, what is happening with inflation? Because inflation means that cost of production already is high. Ah, yes. Then who is going to be moved to what to price of goods and services? Yes. If we look at the data, I said it is one. Will this will this uh, you know, clean up the backlog, boost productivity, or attract more foreign investors? These are mm. two things. I need to convert it to attract more investors. 
or to boost the economic growth because I tell you, your, your GDP is what domestic, no domestic uh, product, mm. no domestic uh, GDP is a gross domestic product. Yes. And if you are not producing, what is the product you are doing? Because if you are going to use your inflow to to to, to kind of reflect on your GDP for first quarter, is that is that is a minus. Mm. I mean, you need to work on what. And for me, that's why uh, people are saying because of the hawkish nature we have seen. It will be another you know, high credit today. Mm. But me, I'm, I'm in that line. Mm. But I'm saying that for us to balance it, mm. it should not be, it should be also a hole. A retention. Yes, a hole for now. Then, then after the April, that is like kind of free month. Mm. But, and then that's what will now be coming in May. May, yes. That means you now use this this uh, March yes. and, and April, April to, to determine to, to, to yeah. what has happened in the economy. Because mm. I believe that it's about timing. That's what they, any time, time is very well. Not mm. that just high credit in February, high credit in, 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 in the March, March again. Then we're going to kill the that's, economy. That's almost, already, almost a disaster. Already the economy is already on what? On the contract. Ground zero. Because we have, seen, right. we have seen inflation hitting the highest mm. figure, interest rate the highest figure. And it's figure. still rising again this month. No, it's going to start at two this month. Yeah. 32 plus. So let's talk about, I, I, wh wh when I take a quick look at um, the the the... The policies of this um, CBN governor, I, I I realize that is a bit one-sided, and I I I I I I I, I dare to be corrected if I'm wrong. Uh, that he is just focusing more on foreign exchange and um, more more focus on um, bringing about stability in the foreign exchange, and then in a way trying to say how we can moderate inflation figures. But then again, the the, the reforms and the policies that have been taken, I like to get your assessment to them. Do you think that they are producing any results so far? We can't we can't say exactly now, but you know the major rule of any CBN anywhere is for try price stability. Yeah, that means you have to think with what with interest rates. You know inflation and what exchange rate yeah which i can see that they are working on what on the interest rate and the what and exchange, exchange rate, rate yeah. to, to control the price mm. which is good i'm not about it but our own environment is different from what you are seeing in the mature economy mm. and for that you have to also think your your thinking to be different that's why i believe that other members of the committee also think one well, uh, think a uh, different way because mm. even them are thinking one well, of rate hike it's not good for the government. I know that the rate hike will be a benefit for the banking sector, insurance sector, we're smiling. But sorry, but to, sorry to butt in, um, um, Ambrose, if we have, I I, for, I, I think the, the members of the committee are about 12 or more. I, I, I don't really don't know. Can yes. the board, yeah. so, so if we have majority going for a rate hike, the minority really do not have a voice. <laughs> Even if they, 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 are, they are calling for a retention, what what you what, what you say concerning that? But like I said, I said, I, I know, I, I think because of the good uh hawkish nature we have seen mm. even the way the cbn government have been carrying all these whole things that yes want to fight inflation but we can't fight inflation with just only interest rate yes because our exit anyway any really that nigeria inflation is not only no liquidity push mm. but liquidity is not much but it's cost push and yeah. that means that insecurity is part of it mm. loopholes were seen those that are those few you no know, elites mm. that have hold money and now buying the f the fs mm. and because of imported also inflation okay. because the more fs is in good right we are going to bring goods on a high cost we're going to pass the cost cost to the, world, to the public Consumers. for that these are the things that but i believe that for us to balance it mm. it should be a retention let, let's follow let's, let's, let's for the first time let's follow but some some analysts are not calling for a retention they are seeing yeah, um, an, 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 an increase look at and do you think an increase will have uh, uh, have any impact on inflation have, it will have advantage right on the economy it, inflation will not also because for the month of March will mm. also be on the up. Yes. If you are hiking for for this March meeting mm. and we are not meeting in April, uh, well, then is it the one we are hiking now that will have effect in April? For me, it's time for us to look at it and see because it's about timing. Mm. That's why we have group for them. They are most now too, as you just mentioned. Then let us not think uh, all of us. Well, let's see and debate mm -hmm. this and see how mm -hmm. we're going to work. And that is the mm. end of the committee. Yeah. So that everyone has his own view. That's why they are yeah. independent mm. members to come with your own view and present it. With, 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 and for you agree. For me, I think that. The economy is remember because I tell you without the economy, there's no politics. Yes, we we're talking about the focus is always on the monetary side, the monetary side. But what do you think the physical side should also do to curtail inflation? Inflation is really biting out on the average um pocket of the Nigerian masses. I I, I just last week Wednesday I bought a bag of rice for eighty-eight thousand naira. And as that um, Friday last week, I heard that a bag of rice now sells for ninety-two thousand naira. I mean, before Easter, you know, it's like, it's, we, we, are, we are going to be hundred or even over that now. So I, I, what, I, I, what, I what do you think the, the, the monetary side? should be doing and from the monetary side i'm looking at both the ministry of finance and ministry of agriculture do you think they're doing enough to augment what this the the apex bank is doing no the apex bank, when he came on board he said uh, that uh, 
it's not interested in intervention. Mm. That is the language you use. Well, now I think that it's also changing its language now because we have seen the part of intervention before now. Mm -hmm. That would really save us when we had a recession. Mm -hmm. we went mm -hmm. a, yes, you know, uh, maybe film might have one or the other, but I believe that those interventions helped us to manage the government. They say one or the other, but now, agriculture sector, as we speak now, we are doing with uh, Buari. There was a lot of fund injected. Yeah, we also saw the rice pyramid. Yes, yes. yes. Thing. So, no, there was little stability in price, uh, price of rice then. What has happened? We have opened all the borders you know, and rice is there. What is happening? It just say that we should look inward. Even the as you mentioned, that means of agriculture, what are they doing? Because if there's intervention, you have off season planting and off season farming. We should like to not be at that. Even if you see the local price and the sorry, the difference is not much. Mm. Then why mm. the food? It's not much. Mm. Then what, 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 mm. what I was saying. Mm. I think we should tell ourselves the truth. And also don't forget that CBN is sent to fight inflation. Yeah. When they are planning also to increase salary for for civil servants. Civil servant. Yes. And when you put salary, they have to improve, let's improve, improve liquidity <laughs> yes. to also come to the same market. Mm -hmm. I think all this is the truth. I just want to say, even the, the physical and the monetary to shake hands mm. and know that because mm. also, as farmers are not in the farm, yes. I like one of my uncle called me, he said hmm, that this year, let's be managing what we have. But for 2025, if care is not taken, there will be hunger. Food not. crisis. Yes. And earlier, thank God to the uh, government, they declared for emergency in food security. Yeah.